Welcome back. Missed you. I missed you. And, <laughs> and then I got here. <laughs> What's up, Wikimaniacs? Oh yeah, baby. It's your boy, Sean. Welcome to another episode of me. No, just kidding. (laughs) Welcome to another episode (laughs) of Reddit on Wiki. Uh, My co-hosts are here with me, Josh and John. Say hello. I missed your face. You didn't tell me it was a guest hosted episode today. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Who is this yeah, guy? Newsflash. The main host is back, baby. <laughs> the one you... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm glad to be back. I missed you guys. I missed the Wikimaniacs. Uh, you know, as fun as vacation is, uh, you miss the day-to-day, you know, towards the end of it. So You got yeah, to tell us a little bit of a highlight, my guy. Like, what was your favorite part of your trip? Mm, food. We, we, we saved that till the end. Oh, okay. But also, sneak peek. Food. <laughs> okay. I, I saw your Insta. It was it was mostly yeah. food, and I was yeah. jealous the entire time. So. <laughs> New York is so good. So many good food choices. Oh yeah. Also, yeah. Good to have you back, Sean. Uh, the guest episodes were fun, but it's it's always nice to get back to the three of us. OG. Yeah. The the host that came on. Shout out Cultivate Fam. They were killing it. Uh, yeah. I saw. I even saw the amazing Underbach. He got some yes. fan art. She Wild. did. And I have to say, she looks incredibly swollen, that photo. She, <laughs> the veins and the muscles are popping out. Good on you. Alex Thanks is swollen. Yeah. <laughs> Let it be known. But uh, yeah, it's first time doing this in a while. Forgive me if I'm a little rusty, guys. Uh, I believe this is where I talk about the menu. It's your show, dude. It's Do whatever show, you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're right. It is my fucking show. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. All right. Let's talk about the menu, guys. We got from... I think as far as I know, the first time ever, r slash two hot takes are friends that we don't know, but a lot of fans put us together. uh, This is how you know he never listens to the episodes because we we did one for him. I'll give him an out because (laughs) technically the Friday episode hasn't come out yet. That's right. That's right. I apologize, Sean. I apologize. uh, At the time of recording, that's not out yet. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, But uh, yeah. For me, for the first time ever, uh, two hot takes. Got to give a shout out to our our friends that we don't know, but a lot of people, a lot of Wikimaniacs are fans of that show as well. So, yeah, you know, like we've said on multiple times, uh, we have no ill will. There's room for all of us. Uh, I'm excited to read something from there. We will hopefully, steal their you know, stories, though. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry, there's we don't going give... to be a lot of uh, overlap. Nice. Yeah. I see it. But hi, yeah, Morgan. No. Hopefully you answer my DM someday. We'd love for you to come here on the show. <laughs> so funny if she's a fan, like listens to our show, just will not respond to you. <laughs> it's okay. I don't blame you. We're lowly, we're, yeah. we're lowly three guys right now, but we're making oh, yeah. our way up. We're making our way up. Someday. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we have from there, but originally from True Off My Chest, my husband wants me to be a mother to his affair child. Oh, <laughs> Interesting. Damn. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. That's posted by user traditional ground score roll ground score two oh five. Nice. Uh coming in from R slash also I've never seen this one. R slash not how girls work from user Darius. I don't know if that's a first and last name, so I'm just gonna say Darius. Uh but <laughs> Good yeah. Call. Yeah, yeah. But then again, that is your Reddit name. So if that is your first and last name, <laughs> I I beg of you to delete that. Uh, That's okay. Yeah. Last last week, John read a full name and then was like, oh shit, I probably shouldn't have read that. <laughs> to be fair, so, that's how it was written. So Yeah, it was. It was. It was just, it was funny. <laughs> and there were listeners submitted, so. <laughs> so it was probably their name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys can't give us your full names. We're <laughs> idiots. We will read it as it is written. <laughs> Darius posted from r slash not how girls work sexual facts oh no uh, no a man a, explaining about <laughs> this is a does it this guy fuck isn't it uh, <laughs> you still yeah, can't get that right huh josh <laughs> was it what is was it right did he say does, that oh does this guy fuck yeah that's correct oh, right? okay i hope I've so i've been gone for a while i think that's correct 
Sure. I'll just yeah, gaslight this, you guys. Yeah, fuck. I, yeah, that feels right. I'll feels gaslight right. you guys into changing the name of everything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is it. Wow. That's a that's a high level white man. That's a white man train. rewriting yeah. history. Yeah. yeah, just rewriting history there, Josh. Exactly. All right, and then coming from R slash Petty Revenge from the goat mid score mid score mid score. Yeah, I ruined my stepmom's fiftieth birthday. Who hasn't? <laughs> uh, big uh, big Cinderella vibes from there. Evil step parents. <laughs> oh, <no> true. <laughs> And then coming up, the last story of the day, I have r slash advice from user flying midscore plant. Wife tells me it's inappropriate for me to want to spend time with my own sister. Okay, that's weird. Uh, that's why, weird. <laughs> why are you insecure about someone's sister? Unless they got an Alabama thing going on. But let's Sister from a different mister, mm. potentially. Mm. I don't know. They uh, they doing some sweet home Alabama shit. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> what's the what's the state I shit on? Ohio, Ohio. for some Ohio. reason. Oh, no, Ohio. but I, Ohio's your state. But I mean to say Utah. I think every time you mean to say Utah. That's <laughs> what it is. It's got four letters. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I just, as an American, uh, we have too many states. I, I agree. Free. And then you started just splitting states up north and south, and you're just like, yeah, that's fine. Put them together. Just one state. Come on. <laughs> and then we have things that we don't consider as states, but we own, which is a whole nother version oh, of just territories. Up. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Is that one? Yeah. Yeah. That's Canada. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> I is, Guam, say, is Guam a U.S. territory or am I tripping? I want to say yes, okay. but also we're dumb. <laughs> that's true. That, that so is who true. Knows? That's, that's the truth. <laughs> but let's jump into this first story. Ooh, so weird. It's weird to be back. I'm happy to be back, but uh, definitely rusty. <laughs> Would you rather be in New York again right now <laughs> than podcast? Would I rather be? No, I'm so tired, man. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've gained 10 pounds. It's not good. <laughs> you should have just taken a, a like another quick flight up to Ottawa. We could have hung out. You were, you were pretty close. You, you could have just met me in New York. That was already midway. It's true. I don't have a job. I could have just done that. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah, nah, I mean, yeah, that's fair, I guess. Uh, uh, but yeah, let's get into it. My husband wants me to be a mother to his affair child. Um, boy, here we, <laughs> you ask yeah. him for too much. You are yeah. the asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What day is it today? <laughs> It's on Monday, right? Oh. You do Monday, right, Sean? That's uh <laughs> Yeah, these are Mondays. Yeah. But this was this isn't true off my chest. So okay. okay. I'm good. I'm safe. Uh before I hop into this first story, I'm just gonna put a kind of trigger warning. This story does have uh death during childbirth and death of a child involved in it. So if those are triggers for you, uh I would definitely skip this one and go to the next story. Starting off strong. Start. Oops, all sad. <laughs> here we go. Oh, John, no, I know I you have, haven't been I've here. Done that for the past yeah. two weeks. <laughs> John. I had, John to, is, I had to, bro. I had to, in your honor. Yeah, he's been hitting me with some sad ass stories. And then, Jesus. you know, in full transparency, he made me cry I made last John week, cry way. last episode. Wait, what? He yeah. made you made, cry. Yeah. I saw that in the group chat, but I didn't want to pry. No, Dad, uh, he made me cry. I was crying. <laughs> Like you made him sad? No, I was cr crying. Like for yeah, real. <laughs> oh, from the story? Yeah, from <laughs> yeah. It was not intentional. It I would wasn't. like to make it that wasn't. clear. Yes, but you will be proud, Sean. It's locked behind a paywall. So yes, oh, so my yeah. tears are behind a paywall. <laughs> oh yeah. You want to <laughs> see those tears? So <laughs> some of the Patreon money I will be invoicing for my therapy, guys. Just <laughs> God damn, we don't have that much money. <laughs> <laughs> well, that you was your therapy up, job. <laughs> Oh, shit. I, 29 female, and my husband, 44-year-old male, have been together for five years and married for two. I met him at the church I started going to when I moved cities to start my career. I work for an insurance company, and he's a pastor. Oh, red flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Pastors, pastors are red flags for me. I'm sorry. They're creepy. Also, finances is, is a red flag. They're both red flags. She's insurance. That's uh, a little That's different. worse. Possibly worse, <laughs> to be honest. Predatory, if anything. Yeah. Both seem <laughs> to. <laughs> both are predatory. Oh, God. We're going to uh, get so anyways. much hate on that one. 
Guys, we've talked about this. Christians, you got to take jokes. <laughs> You're like the white people of religion. You guys have too much privilege. And I'm a Christian. So, you know. And I'm a white take person. It from me. And he's a white guy. I'll just There's keep shitting on both of you. Yeah. John is the antithesis. John can of make both, fun so. of both of us. That's, yes. that's, yeah. the, that's, fair. that's the trade off. Why? Christians. <laughs> All right. Back to the story. I know that we have a notable age gap. But he has always been kind to me and made me feel special. What was the age gap again? Sorry, I might have missed that. Oh, no, you get 29 female and 44-year-old male. Okay, I mean, uh, they've been together years. for how many years? Ooh, five years, though, when she Ooh, was 24. That's a he was little 39. bit weird. Remember, remember our, cutoff sure. is, our cutoff is 25, remember? Yeah, that's weird. My cutoff is 25. <laughs> cutoff is 25. Uh, I know 24 it. is close, but yeah. it's not... It's no cigar, buddy. And, and we did just joke about predatory pastors. So I was going to yeah. say, there's no grace Ugh. period, but that also is also pun intended. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> pun intended. <Yeah>. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're back, boys. We're back. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> and that's a pun too, Sean. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look what you've made me. Anyways. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs> anyway. A week ago, he came home and told me that we needed to talk. He told me through tears that he had been having an affair with one of our community members oh, no. and that she had been pregnant with twins. Oh, okay. uh, I have I have to say, uh, just so you know, we're making predatory jokes. The, the affair member, community member, affair member, whatever you want to call her, is 34, which I guess is, you know, Better, 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 but still better. cheated. But yeah. still having an affair. <laughs> an affair right. And also, uh, I think that's on you know God's ten lists of no nos, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Adultery. Uh, and also pregnant. So he's had to have known that she like giving birth. So she he had to have known that she's been pregnant for a while. Yeah. You gotta yeah. imagine. Potentially, or at least, well, he's cheated on her a while ago, at least. Yep. Yeah. She had gone into labor. She and one of the twins died, and the other is still in the Ooh. NICU. Yeah. He said we need to step up and that he wants me to turn my office into a nursery and we? set up a cot in the room so that we can take turns taking care of the child. Oof. Oh. We speak in French now? I, we? <laughs> yeah. We. I became distressed, and I told him I wanted some time to think, that I was not sure that I wanted to do this. He told me that I had made a vow to him in marriage and that God had blessed us with a child. Nope. So did you, motherfucker. This, <laughs> so did you. <laughs> and you broke that vow. Yeah, you, adultery, brother. You can't, you <laughs> can't bring God into this. You done lusted your neighbor, got her pregnant, and committed adultery. You hit two, Dude. two for ten, bro. It's like, I didn't sleep with her. It's a Jesus thing. <laughs> oh, my God. It's an immaculate concern. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is our cross to bear and that God will never give us something that we cannot handle. False. Uh, I told him that it seemed like God. Ooh, this is bad. I told him that it seemed like God had given her more than she could handle because she d is dead. <sighs> okay. Parentheses. I know I should not have said that. I was not thinking correctly. I was distressed. I, parentheses. I will give her a pass because like. You're just getting this all dumped on you. Uh, I'm sure oh, yes. she wasn't thinking clearly. So I'll, I'll give her a pass on that dark. I mean, we've made terrible jokes too, so I can't even see yeah. anything. I mean, and, and, I and, to, and to be fair, he's weaponizing his status as a pastor saying like God did yeah. or God this, God that. So God you know made what? me sleep with her. It's God probably <laughs> exactly. gave her Dude, that ammunition. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's bad. It's yeah. so crazy to pull the God card now when you're the one that you know, exactly. It's not like this is just some innocent child that you're adopting. This is you're gonna have to look at that child and be like, "Wow, it's my fucking husband cheated on me." Your, yeah, yeah. product of your adultery, exactly, Sean. Side note: I like the God card. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm giving Yu-Gi-Oh vibes right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. of rock. <laughs> <laughs> the God card. <laughs> you just win. Lord. What were the three? Cypher, the Sky the wing, Dragon. Wing Dragon of Ra, Obelisk the Tor Tormentor, Obelisk and Slifer the, the Sky Dragon. Yes, I'm a fucking nerd, guys. Thank you. <laughs> and then the five cards make uh, Exodia. 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 Fuck yeah. The Forbidden One. This <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, the, when he's getting blasted. Exodia. And it, Obliterate. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus. I love you, Gail. Uh, but back to the story. 
Ooh. This is dark. Uh, gets bad. Oh, boy. He gets then bad. slapped me in the face. Oh. oh. And told me that I needed to serve my husband. Oh, that no. That God had chosen me as this child's mother, and I needed to be his humble servant. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Uh, I just feel so strange. Yesterday, I cried so hard that I threw up. This woman died, yet I feel bad for myself. I feel so ugly. I wanted children, and I was saving for IVF because I am infertile, but now I have a chance at a child, and I do not want it. Well, it's not your Sorry. child. It's not. Yeah, That's I agree with why. Josh. I feel like I'd be robbing the baby's mother's grave. I've prayed to God, but if we're being honest here, I've never felt like anyone was listening. I feel like I have truly seen my husband and he no longer looks kind to me. He looks like his age. He looks very tired. I want to abandon him and the child. I'm only 29. I can start over. I have a remote job. I can take a day off when he goes to the NICU, pack my essentials, and leave. Neither him nor the child deserve this, and although this is my circus, that is not my monkey. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I would tell you to do. Uh, Get out of there. He's abusive. Uh, cheated on you. I mean, those Manipula- those are manipulative, should be enough. It sounds like too. Yeah. Yeah. Manipulation for sure. Oh yeah. yeah, definitely using his power and his status. And I'm sure it's a church where everyone looks at looks up to him, and he can spin it in some way where it's like he's, you know, he's doing the noble thing for I've taking seen this child. In. Exactly. There's the, so much of stuff of that. being like, yeah, I I cheated on her, but it's like uh, I was. My but burden to bear. Yeah. And I've come through. Kid. Dude. It's like wild. You're just is. a piece of shit using your position of power to manipulate your audience. Like you're the people that look up to you and, and your your family. If I was her, I would sue this fool, take some alimony, get, you get sue, some sue sort of what for this? Well, you could definitely, at least divorce uh, I don't know. <laughs> and get some alimony. Definitely divorce. Yeah. Get some sort of alimony. And, Although well, he's I mean, a pastor. I feel like she's going to be the one giving up money through the divorce. Uh, she hate to see. Maybe. Just because yeah, of she, how. She definitely makes no more. Just she how crazy the the tax purposes is for churches. Which, by the way, tax a damn church. I'm just looking you, camera. Tax a damn church. <laughs> As someone who ran a cult podcast, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> right. Someone Religious wanted to say cult. hi. Hi, baby. Oh. Look how big he is. Hello. Holy. Oh, so that's a big boy. He's so he's floofy. Boy. You want to say hi? Hi, you Kevin. Say hi? Okay, say bye, Kevin. Sorry, <laughs> Juliet wanted to bring him. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, say bye, baby. Bye. Bye, Kevin. Here you go. He's a big boy. <laughs> All right, moving on to sexual facts. Oh, this is from r slash not how girls work. He doesn't. Uh, and this is <laughs> this is low key. Uh, does this guy fuck? But it wasn't labeled. Does this guy fuck? But, but uh, it it is. Our it our, is. Base, our our Wikimaniac knew. He knew, <laughs> he knew what he was doing. Vibes. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, I think from I don't know what social media this was written on, but here we go. Looks like maybe Facebook. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Which tracks absolutely tracks. Uh, as written, neckbeard voice on. I want to make this clear since nobody wants to talk about this. Oh, that voice is back. <laughs> Sexual facts. Fact number one. The vagina always has a bad smell, no matter how much you bathe or who you are. This is a fact. You smell your nobody lip, can buddy. deny. Uh, you need to wash your mouth. Parentheses. <laughs> sorry, girls. There is no, quote, it's my natural smell, end quote, shit. Close parentheses. Which, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, even? He I, never smelled pussy in his life, I'll tell you that. I'm fucking saying it. <laughs> yeah, and if, it is, if there's anything smelling down there, it's definitely his dick. You know? This is <laughs> this probably guy the guy who hasn't bathed in like 60 days. Yeah, He's probably the yeah, axe exactly. guy. <laughs> Why don't they just put axe down there? I don't get, I don't get it. <laughs> what the fuck? It can smell so good. <laughs> All right, uh, sexual fact number two. <laughs> this is like an incel BuzzFeed article. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> women who have given birth to a baby, their vagina is now useless. Oh, the boy. muscles have lost all strength and can no longer give sexual satisfaction. The vagina becomes huge. When it pushes it out and then it comes back, it, this guy's never done any yeah, research before. No. Like it definitely comes back to normal after like some, it, it varies for some people and some people it doesn't, but yeah. To, <laughs> that's to a steal wild a take. joke from Joe Coy, he calls it pussy must prime. That thing transforms back. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Was it literally pushed life out of it? Like, what right. do you mean? Like, that's incredible. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And chances are you you ain't got no mega dick for you to even like even complain. My <laughs> yeah, he guy. can't feel normal. So <laughs> no. sexual fact number three. If you do anal sex with your girlfriend, that makes you gay. <laughs> I know it is controversial, <laughs> but there is no difference in a woman's anus and that of a man. How does How do he you know? know? <laughs> <laughs> He's done some experimenting, to be sure. What do you mean by Having that? sex <laughs> with a man would not be a problem for you. In oh. fact, you want a man's anus more because it is tighter than a woman's vagina. Try to deny it. I don't know, bro. I got giant shit, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's not Dude, where I thought this is going to go. <laughs> bro, you shit six times a day and you have big ones still? Yeah. Holy... <laughs> How much do you eat, brother? That's a lot of fiber. <laughs> I'm regular as hell, bro. And oh the poop streak continues again. Oh, <laughs> my is. God. Way too many streaks. <laughs> um, he ends not the post in my underwear, with, though, I promise. <laughs> uh, he ends it with, and no, I'm not an incel. I have full sexual experiences with many, all caps, many women. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, he never fucked in his yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sure. That's that second many confirmed it for me. Yep. <laughs> That's an overcompensation. Um compensation. Welcome compensation. back. Baby. We're oh, back. Oh fuck. <laughs> also, don't like this, but I was assaulted in my DMs oh. with Sean jokes. <laughs> Uh, my personal <laughs> account, a crime, Thank you, Wikimaniacs. a crime to be sure. That's fucking oh. funny. I love it. Same. I don't. <laughs> you know, I encourage all the Wikimaniacs to torture you, right? <laughs> all the yeah, time. And it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> if you're getting money for crying, I deserve money. I'm getting attacked <laughs> on my personals. And not one poop has been sent. Not one poop has been sent to you. It's nope. true. Wikimaniacs know what's up. We're on my, they're on my side. All right. Yeah. And you want to lie and say, I'm the favorite cap. <laughs> you, you are the favorite, bro. If I'm the favorite, why am I getting assaulted? And why are there no goddamn poop pictures in the Instagram? <laughs> Maybe they have constipation. They couldn't send. <laughs> poop could be, <laughs> could be. God. I love you. Know, uh, I'm, I'm 30 minutes ago. I was like, man, I miss my guys. I what have I 30 done? Minutes later, <laughs> and I'm thinking, right, man, Josh, I'm glad. That's what you uh, did. I'm, true. I'm glad to see Josh. Oh, I'm thank glad you. to see wow. Josh. That's racist. Wow. wow. <laughs> the card turned on me. <laughs> I played the God card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we head on to our third story, I think it's time that we sell some products, guys. Oh, also, that guy doesn't fuck, by the way, just to get that clear. <laughs> oh, definitely not. I, I think we're we all in that, the greens. Yeah. This guy does not fuck, has not fucked. And, and will never. Probably will never fuck. Yes, not sir. if he is open with those ideas. <laughs> yes. Well, it sounds like he may have some Experience. things he needs to work. Yeah. Some, he might, you know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's just suppressing something, you know? Yeah, he might be suppressing something. Yeah, anyways. Uh, you won't need to suppress your pubes when you use the lawnmower <laughs> 4.0. Hit him! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a public service announcement. Our friends at Manscaped now have beard products and are going even further with their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0. Go ahead and tell the world that the leaders in below the waist grooming are traveling north of your man's South Pole. Nose hairs are a major turnoff. The new Weed Whacker 2.0 and their new beard line confirms they have all the best tools for his hygiene toolbox. Time for you to upgrade his game by going to manscaped.com and using our code Reddit for 20% off plus free shipping. Let's be serious here. I should not be reading this ad because look at my beard. 
Horrible. This should be Josh reading. Uh, he has a superior beard. But you know what? Maybe after I use the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, I can get on Josh's level. Meet the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's the ultimate package that makes it easier than ever for the man in your life to craft his signature look. Your man, too, can have a beard as good as Josh if you use the Beard Hedger, the only beard trimmer your man will ever need. The Beard Hedger has a titanium-coated T-blade that is tough on hair but smooth on his face, leading to a single-stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. This waterproof cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives him 20 haircutting lengths all with one guard. You heard that right. All with one guard, no more drawers full of 20 different guards. The Pro Kit is much more than a trimmer though. It comes with four dermatologist tested formulations for his post trim care. Trust me, both of you are going to love this because he will smell great. This includes Manscaped's beard shampoo and conditioner, beard oil and beard balm to moisturize, style and shimmer his facial hair. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three free Gifts, a beard brush, a beard comb, and scissors to ensure that his beard is ready to impress. The brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 offers improved blades and skin safe technology with no tugging guarantee. It's never been so painless for him to mine his manholes. We're talking noses, if nostrils, manholes. You know what I'm saying? Now that his upstairs is taken care of, let's talk about behind the scenes. There's a winky face in the script. Now that his face is looking great, you must try Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 for the full body grooming experience. Good news. The Performance Package 4.0 now comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0 and all of the other below-the-waist grooming products Manscaped is known for. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be delighted to see him covering all bases, if you know what I mean. Covering all bases to get on all faces. Take that out, Josh. That was not good. Anyways, if that sounds interesting to you, get 20% off and free shipping with our code Reddit at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using our code Reddit. Trust Manscaped for the only right tools for the job. Thank me later. So I'm not good at winks, but all the YouTube viewers, that's for you. And uh, we're back. Oh, what a beautiful ad read by one of these two. Uh, <laughs> and me, mostly. I think. It's just Josh. <laughs> That's Let's okay. get into it from r slash petty advice. From petty Hakeo. advice? That's new. Oh, shit. I'm petty revenge. Oh, okay. I was going like, to say. Are you asking Interesting. for petty advice? Because I'm <laughs> ready. We got it. I, I feel <laughs> yeah. like John is already the mod of petty advice. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's the only member. <laughs> He's the only member. Hey. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. I ruined my mom's 50th birthday party. Mm. Interesting. Here we go. Excited. My stepmom was a nasty woman to grow up with. Mean, vindictive, and had an inferiority complex that she used to attack anyone that was doing well, especially those doing better than her. Don't like that. My dad spent my childhood on the road and my mom was in and out of inpatient facilities until she had passed. So a lot of my time was spent with her being my only available carer slash guardian. I won't bullshit and say that I was perfect, but I wasn't bad. I was a good student. <laughs> but I was perfect. In the community. <laughs> <laughs> Sean describing himself every 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, you know. Us describing Sean. <laughs> <laughs> True. I love it. Uh, I was a good student involved in the community and had many school activities. And as soon as I could work, I got a job. My biggest issue was that I often took an attitude with her and her family, all of whom sucked to be around. These people have been in my life since I was four. I am now in my late 20s and not one of them were ever supportive or kind to me. I had aspirations to go to school and be a psychologist, a teacher, a therapist, or maybe a veterinarian. Honestly, I think I just liked the structure school offered and wanted to continue with it after graduation. But as soon as I was handed my diploma, my stepmom handed me a notice to vacate the property. Oh, damn. Less than a month later, I was gone. To be fair to him, my father did try to intervene and prevent the eviction since it was his home, 
but she was the main occupant in the house and we were informed by a local cop that she could in fact remove me from the home and press trespassing charges if I ever came back. Gee. To this day, I think he was likely full of shit, but I didn't deal with it. So, long story short, I was 18, homeless, and supposed to start college a few months later. I had chosen a local school and rejected much better scholarships so I could stay home and save money. I found a place with a man that became my best friend. Between full-time work, just trying to scrape by, and my mental health issues that arose in the aftermath of everything, I could not continue with school and I dropped out. My dad was unable to offer much support, and most of my family never cared to intervene, since she had convinced the majority of them that I had chosen to go to North Carolina, no contact, <laughs> with them. I like it. She would call and gloat about how hard the real world is and make snide comments about my dying mother and in the oh. same breath offer sympathy Jeez. and support if I came back home. Weird. Fake. You Those kicked weird. her out yeah. and then you're going to offer support? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. At holiday dinners, she would tell everybody I was the first psychologist she'd ever seen working the till at McDonald's. And if I defended myself, I would be chastised for not taking a joke. It was humiliating. And after a few years, I realized I could block her and she couldn't do shit about it. So I did. And oh. when I did, my life turned around. I now work as a pastry chef in a bakery that I adore and would love to own someday if the owner would let me when he retires. It's not a life I ever imagined for myself, but it's a good one that I share with my fiance and I wouldn't trade it for anything. In the past two years, I have resumed contact with my dad and as a result, his wife again. He is still a doormat and she's still a, I don't know if I could say this, let me know. Uh, and she's still a cunt. I, I believe this person might be British. So uh, You could say that. This sad person word. sounds like a cunt. <laughs> okay. But she's not picking on a little girl anymore because I bite back now. Doing what I do for a living, I always show off a bit at family gatherings, and I've often made custom cakes for relatives when asked. My stepmom hates my job. She hates that I'm happy. She hates that I don't care if I'm a little bit plump. She hates that I'm engaged and that she's not allowed near the wedding. She hates that I'm good at what I do, and try as she might, the only thing she could ever insult about my baking is the fondant, which, to be fair, I don't like fondant either. Yeah. Yeah. Sienna says it's trash. So. <laughs> it is trash. It's just decorative. <laughs> yeah. At my dad's birthday party last month, I baked a lovely three-tier red velvet cake for him Ooh. and provided numerous pastries as well as a cookie buffet. God damn. Oh, damn. That's I'm nicer than what I would have done for him after this hey, shit. Cookie buffet <laughs> for real. sounds delicious. Oh, my God. <laughs> my boss is a godsend for letting me use his industrial kitchen to make all of it. Day of the party, all my stepmom could say was that my cake tasted like box mix. And that was it. To be fair, uh, you know, it's not the best cake, but box mix cake be hitting sometimes. I do fuck with a box mix cake. <laughs> mix cake. <laughs> Maybe because I, I grew fucking, up with it. I don't discriminate <laughs> yeah. with cake, man. If there's cake in front of me, I'm going to eat it. So box, yeah. fair. Home, box homemade, mix, whatever, no, sorry. that shit's going to be eaten. It's just nostalgia because like that's what yeah. we, we always grew up with. So... Uh, Brings you back. Funfetti. Yes, that is a go go to yes. one. Anyways, two decades of abuse and I was finally done trying. I spent days trying to make everything that I provided all free of charge and she compared my labor, knowledge, and skill to fucking Betty Crocker. <laughs> no shame to anyone who bakes slash likes Betty or any oh, other who? boxed <laughs> mix. I was like, we were just... <laughs> Raving Josh, about it. Josh Loki offended. <laughs> yeah, I the saw same. the Arthur fist. <laughs> well, God damn it. <laughs> that's like comparing fast food to your own home cooking and fast food being called better. I mean, sometimes. Uh, I mean, wow. <laughs> yeah. If it's my cooking. Okay. <laughs> same, same job. <laughs> this is a total slap in the face to the hours of labor and effort and years spent honing and perfecting recipes. She asked me at the beginning of February to bake her a cake for her 50th. No other details other than that she didn't want red velvet and that it was for 100 people. Make you better believe velvet. I'm making her a box mix cake. <laughs> <laughs> I agreed. 
I stocked up on Duncan Hines and canned frosting, slapped the frosting on top of shitty sheet cakes a day before, and didn't bother decorating any of them. I like it. That's petty. <laughs> That's more than I would have done. <laughs> Stepmom was livid. I ruined her birthday, embarrassed her in front of all of her friends and family, and she asked me, how could I be so callous? I just told her she compared my cake at my dad's party to Betty Crocker, so... She must prefer low effort cakes. <laughs> I shortly I left shortly after and she started crying. Apparently she had planned on Instagramming the party and had planned on my normal quality of care for my desserts, which I did not offer. Dad didn't care. He just said it was best that I'm not around her for a bit and we meet up somewhere other than his house. Good. I don't want to be near her again. And I hope her family choked on that dry ass cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Popeye's treatment, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. So stepmom, obviously, you know, C word, piece of shit, garbage person. Your dad kind of sucks too, low key yeah, uh, in that story. Doormat. Both he's ways. Like, like he just, it wasn't there for you. Was not there for the wife. Like your, right. uh, your mom died and he wasn't there for you. He, he kind of abandoned you, set you up with a really shitty family to live with uh, and just never had your back. So, I mean, I almost want to f call the dad more of an asshole just for that. Cause he's supposed to be there for you. He's supposed to love you. He's supposed to support you. And he just let your step mom walk all over you and kick you out. So shitty, very yeah. shitty. Yeah. I was going to say kudos to the OP for pivoting and taking a disadvantage that they had um, into something positive. I think the experience that they had, they ended up finding something they really loved doing, even though they got flipped over their head and say like, Hey, you're on your own now. And yeah. that was kind of just thing for me because I know in a lot of like Western culture, they say like, oh, once you turn 18, get the fuck out of my house. Like that never sat well with me just because in an Asian household, it's like the kid stays until like they're, they're finished college essentially. And that's, that's a norm. So yeah. any, anytime I hear someone says, oh, you're 18, you're of age, you're going to college, you get out of my house. And I'm always, I always feel some type of way about that. Yeah. So good on her for finighting her passion, yeah. passion. And, uh, being great at it, <laughs> apparently. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I agree. Like, I I fully didn't even think about it until Josh mentioned. But this dad has like zero passion, zero zest for life. Uh, he's just there. Zero, uh, zero empathy too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just zero everything. This Both guy ways, just works. like especially uh, like at, even at the end when uh, he, she was like, "Yeah, I destroyed my stepmom's." Uh, you know, cares? and he's like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, uh, do you not give around. a shit about anyone? <laughs> like, he, oh. he doesn't give a shit about anything. Yeah. And it's, he needs to kind of get therapy. There we go. I got it. Mom, <laughs> both of them. They need to have a couple's therapy for being weird couples. The, yeah. True. Yeah. I think and he has individual deep therapy as well. Seated mm -hmm. issues from like, you know, his wife died. So that is pretty traumatic. Uh, I mean, I, they didn't mention it, but it sounds like maybe they were separated before she died. Oh, I see. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, he potentially. He probably didn't care during a relationship. Yeah, he probably so. didn't care. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, moving on to the last story of the day from r slash hole up. Oh, nope. Just kidding. From r slash hole up. <laughs> r slash advice from flying midscore plant. Wife tells me it's inappropriate for me to want to spend time with my sister. Okay, so it's r slash advice, but I want John to give petty advice at the end of this. <laughs> Ooh, let's do it. Here we go. I've been married for five years. My wife tells me that because we are a couple, I shouldn't be asking to spend one-on-one -on -one time with my sister, parentheses, in the sense of taking her out for a beer, etc. close parentheses, whenever she comes to visit. I see my sister one to two times a year when she visits us. My wife says, if we go out, it should be all three of us, not just my sister and me. Some important details. All three of us already go out together when she visits. All three of us spend time with each other throughout the day, and that's fine. But my sister has told me that she wishes that we could have some kind of sibling time. My wife says that's too demanding of her, hmm? and she should understand that I have a spouse now, and she needs to respect that. Weird. I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah. <laughs> Before the weird questions get asked, no, my family is not into incest whatsoever. 
<laughs> and that, that debunked my my whole sweet home Alabama story. So, yeah, Utah's God. safe today. Thank God. <laughs> and I've never given my wife reason to doubt that. I say this because my wife also says that me asking to take an hour or two to hang out with my sister, parentheses, over the four to five days that she would visit, close parentheses, is, quote, kind of weird and a little creepy, end quote. For clarity, I have no problem with all three of us spending time with one another. My wife and sister get along great. My wife just doesn't like the idea of excluding her for an hour or two. It should be noted that she has taken my sister out to the store or to get food, and they'd be gone for an hour or so. There's a bunch of edits. Edit one. Apparently, my wife's brother never tries to meet with his friends, even guy friends, even for a 101 ever. Wait, you said the wife's brother never meets up with their friends one-on-one? Yeah, the wife's brother does not hang out with his friends one-on-one ever. But that's completely different. Yeah. He (laughs) takes the he takes the stance that it's either him and his wife are both invited or he won't go. And that is what my wife is using as ammo against me. That's the dumbest ammo I've ever heard. Y'all got an insecure ass family. Yeah, like, that's weird. Sienna today went out to have like coffee and, and hang out with her friend for like four hours. I was like, cool, have fun. Like you don't have to be attached at the hip to your spouse right. or partner. Like they kind of have their own friends, their own time. You know what I mean? Like it's weird. <laughs> I completely agree. Also, Edit Ringo number is here. Two. Where? Ringo. She Where's just wants my food that Sienna brought. <laughs> what are you eating? Come on. Wikimaniacs like it when you give descriptions. It's a, I don't know what you call it. I guess it's... Um, Is that a pita? Like, yeah. yeah. It's like a pizza kind of thing, but with spinach, roasted... Ooh. I forget what that is. Honestly. <laughs> roasted <laughs> forget, something. But roasted pizza. something. And then feta. It's very good. Nice. Wow. Yeah, and Ringo is very interested in it. Ringo. Oh, Ringo's baby. eating her veggies. Oh, y'all have two out of three pets today. Yeah, I don't know if I announced it, but Kara is in... Well, she was. She's gone now. But she was in my lap. She wanted cuddles. Behind a paywall, Sean. We know. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. know what's up. You guys know the vibe. Hi, baby. She ain't for free. <laughs> hi, Ringo. Say hi. She's like, give me the fucking pizza. <laughs> Fuck him up. Scratch his face. <laughs> Hit him with a one time. <laughs> All right, edit number two... My sister is a great person and has never done anything to make my wife reasonably take this course of action against her. The two of them actually talk probably weekly, or at the very least, text. Oh, uh, that was it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. There's a lot of like short edits for whatever reason. Okay. Um, edit three. Holy cow, guys. This is the first time I've ever posted on Reddit because I really wanted some reassurance that me asking for some sibling time isn't weird once you're married. Thanks a ton for the overwhelming support. Edit four. My wife and I are scheduled for counseling later nice. in March Good. to Love fix it. other things related to this issue. Mainly, determine what's an appropriate amount of time to spend with others and with one another. This would be a great thing to show slash discuss that I'm not the only one who thinks these boundaries are strange. Some of y'all's advice is really, really solid and made me think of things I haven't before when we're in the midst of an argument. I am a work from home guy, so I'm here all the time anyway. Edit five, re emphasis on that I do love my wife. I have zero <laughs> premonitions to so. leave her. <laughs> my wife. She, does, she does an incredible job in other areas, such as treating me right, recognizing the hard work that I do for us, being patient with me as I deal with counseling myself from an abusive childhood trauma, and supports me if I need to work late, always invites me to prayer time, and vice versa. She really does try and has my immense respect. I just really need to come to a happy middle on these boundaries involving our family and friends. Edit six, the last (laughs) edit. My wife's brother, from what I have seen, has no problem with his wife going out for girls' Nate. However, if he is invited out by his guy friends, he makes sure that he can bring her too, or he doesn't go. Mm. Wanted to get your thoughts. Thanks, all. I mean, I think the brother's... Relationship I think the is irrelevant. Also needs to go in yeah. the therapy. I think <laughs> For sure. also. Yeah, it's also irrelevant because it it's your relationship. Um, that's weird. I, I like. I wouldn't even think twice if Sienna was like, "I'm going to go hang out with my sister." It Same. wouldn't have, wouldn't bother Same. me at all. It, like, I mean, we see them pretty often, so it's a little bit different. But 
Julia like literally I, left me for like a week to hang out with her family. And I'm like, by all means, please hang out with them. Yeah. Like, you need that yeah, time. I, I get happy whenever. Yeah, you know, me too. Like once they hang out with their siblings or whatever. I'm like, oh, sibling time. That's cute. Yeah. Cause, cause like, I don't know, like they, they need their own time to bond and, and yeah. you know, talk and catch up. Cause it, it's almost, it's, I mean, it, it is nice when you're both there with your, with their siblings or your own siblings, but it's not quite the same. You're not quite talking about the same things and it's just more of a general catch up, but yeah. So who, who cares? I don't know why she's so fixated yeah. on that. But I am glad hearing that both of them took a step to make things better and go to counseling together. Because it seems oh, yeah. like the sister or the, the wife had some, I guess, some examples that or kind of, yeah, kind of like examples that they kind of emulated growing up, which is the brother. So maybe having a third party, which is, you know, in counseling, say like, hey, you know, you can kind of work on this a little bit. So I don't know. Hope I'm, I'm hopeful that they're going to resolve this because from what it sounds like, that's kind of one of like a glaring issue they had, but it's not a deal breaker. You know what I'm saying? So I was going to say, it's definitely not a deal breaker because it's like, you only see her twice a year anyway. So it's not like a common occurrence. And it's asking for like an hour or two of alone time. And then you guys also have your own hangout time together collectively as a group. So, right. Which I think this should just be a a concerted effort for y'all to realize that her brother is the weird one in this whole story. (laughs) Uh, and that right. he needs to get some therapy. Yeah, he can't I, hang I out mean, with his friends without his wife. That's weird. <laughs> also, I, you know, every couple is different, you know, but I would hate if I'm trying to like hang out with my friend and he's always like, oh, is my wife invited? Which I have no problem with if she's invited, but it's right. just like, why does she have to be? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, every single time. Know. Like, every single time. And, and don't get me wrong, I love like, you know, like hanging out with my friends uh, and their their girlfriends, you know, like like that's always a fun time as well. But sometimes you just you want to hang out with your own friends by yourself and just it's just a different kind of like it's a bonding time with with you yeah. and your friends. And so yeah, it, to need your wife there every time is a little a little odd. <laughs> For my petty advice, actually, you should oh, gaslight shit. your wife, oh. and what you should do is hang out with your sister and pretend in front of your wife and just pretend she's not there and she doesn't exist. <laughs> Talk about anything and everything. Talk shit about her in front of her face oh. and just don't pretend like she's there. There we go. I that like is it. my petty advice. My petty advice is to you gaslight her into thinking you don't have a sister. There you go. <laughs> she never existed. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Mess. I don't her like mind. this segment. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this segment. Josh guys. asked for it. I had to deliver. You know? Yeah, I did ask for it. It is my fault. Uh, uh, yes. Blame no one Josh. asked Blame for mine. <laughs> He just wanted to be part of it. <laughs> yeah. I felt like I was in a different alternative universe. We all are <laughs> incel podcast men. And I'm like, I hate it. Get me out of here. Listen, Sean, fuck you've been gone. feelings. I don't give a shit about what she feels like. Gas <laughs> her to fuck up. You've been oh gone God, for a I've while, been... Sean. Uh, I just oh, go along I've... with John's bits now. <laughs> I've missed some things. We did a whole like five minutes of of based Batman characters <laughs> and lots of puns involving dicks and Josh was few. participating. Yeah. And I loved God. it. It was great. I'm glad I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went hard on that. So it was, it was nice. No, no rolling past it. Not going to take <laughs> yeah. the hard on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Baby, let's go. God. Damn it. Sean got a boner to pick with us. <laughs> what? I All right, this day in history, like here we go. I take it back. <laughs> phrasing is bad. <laughs> Welcome back. Missed you. I missed you, and, <laughs> and then I got here. <laughs> this day in history by the amazing Underbaki. Here we go. Three, yeah, two, that's one. sticking now, by the way. <laughs> Hey there, Wikimaniacs. Welcome back to our weekly series called This Day in History. For those tuning in to Reddit on Wiki for the very first time, thank you for streaming our show. This Day in History is a historical segment we like to throw in each week to take a break from the assholes that we talk about on Reddit. Every Monday, we'll take you on a trip down memory lane, and hopefully you can walk away feeling like you've learned something. Today, we're heading back to 1951, and taking things to court. Trigger warning in advance, there are discussions of the death penalty. So that sounds like something that's not your vibe. 
feel free to skip past this part. No feelings hurt at all. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. When it comes to espionage and spies, what comes to mind? Do you think of the movie Spy Kids? Because if so, you're not the only one. However, we're not highlighting that cult classic today, but maybe in the future? Today, rather, the focus is on two Soviet spies, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, and a trial that took place 72 years ago. Before we get to the trial, let's catch up to speed and get to know Julius and Ethel a bit better. Both Ethel and Julius were born in Manhattan, New York, within the United States. Both entered the world before the 1920s, and both were born to Jewish families. According to Wikipedia, Ethel reportedly joined the Young Communist League, where she met Julius in 1936. The two bonded over their shared interests and tied the knot in 1939. As the 1940s kicked off, Julius reportedly obtained a job as a civilian engineer within the U.S. Army Signal Corps. This is where he and Ethel had loose lips and began disclosing U.S. military secrets to the Soviet Union. Their military secrets got even juicier when Ethel's brother, a fellow named Sergeant David Greenglass, was assigned as a machinist to the Manhattan Project to build the atomic bomb. He provided the Rosenbergs with data on nuclear weapons. But big yikes. In 1945, Julius was given the boot from the army after it was discovered he was still an active member of the Communist Party. Around this time, one of the people that Ethel and Julius had divulged secrets to was a dude named Harry Gold. Around this time, Harry Gold was arrested. Harry was reportedly a Swiss-born courier for the espionage ring, according to Britannica. Once Harry was arrested in May 23, 1950, it didn't take long for Julius and Ethel to also be arrested on conspiracy to commit espionage charges in June and July of that year. The trial for Julius and Ethel began on March 6th of 1951. By March 9th, the couple was found guilty. And on April 5th, the couple was sentenced to death. Not everyone in the nation was in agreement with the sentencing, especially since Harry Gold only received a 30-year sentence. Reports claim that a campaign for mercy was attempted, but it failed. Both Ethel and Julius Rosenberg were executed in the electric chair at Sing Sing Prison in Ossining, New York. According to Britannica in a direct quote, Ethel became the first woman executed by the United States government since Mary Surratt was hanged in 1865 for her alleged role in the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. End quote. Have you heard about the Rosenbergs prior to today? Let us know over on our social media accounts or over on the Cultivate Discord. Also, thank you for tuning in to today's This Day in History segment. It wouldn't have been made possible without the following resources. Wikipedia and Britannica. And of course, even more important than those resources on the internet, we have the resource of the amazing Underbaki, the fantastic writer for This Day in History and the even better host of the Weird Distractions podcast. Uh, really, if you love this writing, you gotta check out Weird Distractions podcast. And uh, Alex was just on the show. So if you love Alex, you're going to love her where she hosts her very own show. But uh, I got to give a shout out to all of our patrons. Uh, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I said, holy moly, we have 270 patrons. And boy, was I off. But now I can't say uh, without a shadow of a doubt, we have 270 patrons. Holy guacamole. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show financially. It means the world to all of us. Um, let's go. Shout out Warren, Brianna, Salma, Javier, Kitty, Kate, Dick Smith, Rogue on Rogue, Pooh Vibes, holy moly, Kenzie, Noah, Lily, Amber, Jen, Tucka, Sophie, Christian, Kristen, Amber, Bailey, Catherine, Marissa, Gabby, Holly, Anna, Evelyn, Sierra, Sierra, Cheryl, Kristen, Torek, Melissa, Carolyn, Julie, Emily, Lunar Eclipse, Alyssa, Agatha, Artanak, Sheila, Mickey, Turtan, Flair Prime, Zoe, Aber, Kakin, Jintage, I'm so sorry, Moody Tacos, Vicky, Ling, Galaxy, Sammy, Jen, Isabel, 
Be So Happy, Mama Deeb, Pikia, Sarah, Atherut, aka The Runt, Alex Morgan, Tree the Busy Bee, Sarah, Ishia, Alexa, Carolina, Tamsin, Sarah, Maddie, Jojo, Jacinia, Bree, Purple DC Bones, Michael, Philip, Melissa, Shannon, Kira, Emily, Taylor, Is Means Biz, Little 5128, Sigard, Ashley, Robert, Sam, Lindsay, Audrey, Nick, Nathy Me, Karadim, Riker, Stephanie, Jackie, Jessica, Olga, Mackenzie, Technicolor, Kitty, Sabrina, Lily, Panda, Moni, the cat, aka Ashley, Jenny, April, Rachel, Tracy, Gerald, Flossie, Savannah, Maria, Midscore, 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 Mrs. Christine E2, Anastasia, Ashley, Antoinette, Taylor, Tara, Jessica, Bear, Sarah, Mina, Sophia, Will, Jay Rich, Mitzi, Muna, Cow, Witty Kitty, Raven, Dr. Dunan, Annie, Stevie, McMystery, Sierra, Sharice, Hyphen, Dia, Shell, Olivia, Taylor, Leigh, Alexis, Unicorn Candy, Bex, Graceful Duck 22, Phoebe, Roxy, Emily, Ileana, Askier, Thor, Patty, Likachu, Nikita, Casey, Jenna, Issa, Thunder, Poop, Tabitha, Victoria, Jordan, Jory, Elizabeth, Chelsea, Leslie, D, Nate, Casey, Lanny, Indira, Alexandria, Karen, Alyssa, Rebecca, Brittany, Siddhartha, Lillian, Sunny, Alicia, Supreme, Majory, Alyssa, Carol, Julia, Tegan, Linnea, Witty Metaphor, Sarah, Karina, Kite, Velvet, Mole, Caitlin, Kelsey, Andrea, Jillian, Aaron, Kawina, Renee, Appleine, Rhonda, Stephanie, Queenie's Den, Christine, Juice Machine, Carolyn, Rihanna, Maria, Elena, Neen, Amanda, Shirtless, Josh, Dan, Michelle, Ali, Ashley, Cecily, Haley, Brittany, Little Rossi, Rory, Saskia, Andy, Sky, Lucellini, Amber, Itzel, Nelly, Sammy, Sasha, Zanthalo, Alex, Caitlin, Ringo, Paula, Dan. Rochelle, Carrie Berry, Lafa Andy, E. Katarina, Jen, Elizabeth, Sober Queen, Love That, Carter, Amber, Dominique, Marine, Tiffany, Risa, Drella, Your Girl, Diana, Catherine, Diana, Lena, Nia, Eli, Jen, Crystal, Danielle, Michelle, Alexis, Miss Doolittle Crew, Mary Ann, Sarah P. Free, Gnomes, Susan, Phantom Fox 98, Dan is Spooky Tales, Blue Raina, Katie, Liliana, Micah, Valentina, Alex, Taru, Aaron, Gabby, Linz and Vina. Thank you guys so much. And we're back. Time to close out with our normal house cleaning, which, you know, truly makes sense. We should have been doing this from the start because why would we clean the house before we start the show? You got to clean after the show, after yeah. the mess that we've made. <laughs> it's a lot of a mess. We definitely a lot left. of mess that we make. Left yeah, quite a bit of a mess. A mess, baby. All over the I, place. I will say, uh, just a real quick before we hop into it, I probably should have done this during my regular episode, but I think you know, as as long as they're popping up on our subreddit, r slash reddit on wiki, uh, I gotta do a weekly segment of Josh hit the music. Does oh do we have that? No, oh, we, we should add that. We should add that. That would be I cool. didn't post, but I should put it on here. We should put it on there. Yeah. How about does this guy fuck? Woo! No. Yeah. Spoiler <laughs> alert. It's always no, no baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. Posted by user demonic ground score truth from R slash hola. Here's a little text thread. <laughs> he always gets me. I'm always like, it's, is it hold up? Is, is that, that the, is that the is subreddit? That the subreddit? <laughs> R slash hold up. All right. So there's a little text thread. Here we go. Uh, you should, you should make is... Josh read the other part. The other. Oh, sure. 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 You should, come on, sure. Josh. I want, you I know want what this see... is? No. Oh, you Y'all just want to make a little voice. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, uh, I just want to be entertained, it? you know? Okay. Jesus. Watch my boys do their thing. Weird. <laughs> is it though? Look at me, X like it. I don't like your tone. When you say yeah, I don't things. either. Is- <laughs> like what you say is fine, you know, in the grand scheme of things. The way you say it, really, don't love. What is it don't about? Love that. What is it about that makes you uncomfortable, Sean? You, you know, the, <laughs> you know. I just explained. Don't <laughs> gaslight me. <laughs> Do you want to be the incel or not the incel? Uh, you know, Josh should be the incel. He's never the incel. Well, I mean, to be fair, he just said gaslight your wife. Uh, uh, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I don't know if I can be that person. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. No worries. Uh, so this is uh, one douche 
talking to one regular person, I presume. Uh, here we go. You are absolutely gorgeous. I would love to chat <laughs> to get to know you, perhaps. Meet so and hang out soon. If you are up for that sort of thing, sweating, smiling emoji. For sure. Thank you, by the way. Uh, smiley heart face. Is that what you call that one? Anyway. You did it. You did it. It was like this. It was yeah. Oh, no. You did it. And by the way, is the abbreviation BTW. Oh, thank you, BTW. Smiley face. How is your day going? So do you have your a license car and your own place as in live by yourself? Because I do. Side smile. <laughs> wow. BTW? Question mark? Apologies. I do not speak hick, ghetto, or tide pod. What is I, tide pod? I don't. I'm confused myself. <laughs> like as to Gen, what Z? Gen Z used to eat tide pods for a challenge, so that's probably what it is. Yeah, and that oh. was based. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think abbreviations were before that. Uh, so yeah, well before, before that. Gen Z, well before that. MSN. Uh, yeah, exactly. And I hate abbreviations. You went to school for a reason, so spell out your words. Just saying. Lol. I truly don't. This is no longer the game. <laughs> we read, we're done now. Uh, <laughs> we're I done. truly don't understand what these guys think that the response they're going to get from that. I don't know. Like, I, like it's just so demeaning. Uh, and then also you just showed your hand that you're an incel. Potentially, <laughs> potentially racist. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It seems racist <laughs> and also oh, ageist and all sorts of things. Very all weird. All the red flags. How about that? Yeah, yeah. These seem like uh, dog whistles or uh, some a lot of right wing talking points in in I, the, a few sentences. I don't speak MAGA, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he immediately in a whole sentence said, "I hate abbreviations." Dot dot dot. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> like, bitch, what? <laughs> Make up your goddamn mind, brother. We spell it out. You went to school for a reason. You went to yeah, school. <laughs> Oh, Lol. that should have been what? the response. Yes. What? That's Are the you petty advice. Me? Thank you, Sean. <laughs> That's sick. Uh, I don't, holy moly. How do you, in one text, own yourself so bad? Yeah. Also, pivoted hard uh, from like, you're gorgeous to you're an idiot. Like, just, yeah. I don't, I don't understand men. And he definitely <laughs> lives in, in, in his mama's basement. Do have a license sure. car. No, he lives by place. himself. Sure. Oh, yeah. He has a side eye. Side eye smile. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Hated that. That guy doesn't fuck for sure. No, for sure. For sure. No. <laughs> wow. Impressive jump, Cara. All right. Uh, but before we get into that, let's do some house cleaning. I did get a Venmo, which I will be putting oh. in our bank Ooh. account. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. I, it's, I think there's a review that was written by that. Sorry, Josh. I'm going to steal your thunder. I promise oh. it's not about me, okay? It okay. might be directly related to this Venmo. Sean, do oh, you mind if I read a review? Go for it. Awesome. Okay. This is a review from our website at reddit on wiki.com. And this one is from Bailey. Is that where you got the Venmo from, Sean? Uh, this is kind of a business name, I think. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Anyways, this is from Bailey. All right. They gave us a five-star rating and it reads as this. My saving grace. Hi guys, I've been meaning to write a review for a while, but life happens and I get sidetracked, but I found the time today to do it and I wanted to let you guys know that if I could rate you at 100 stars, I would. That's wow. a lot of stars. They should That's allow it. Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Your content is the only thing I listen to that makes me literally laugh out loud and agree with everything you say and think. I am a solo mom working my ass off to provide a good life for my son and I, and really the only breaks I get are in my car driving to and from work which is when I turn on your podcast and exit the life as a tired mom and enter the fun humility that you guys provide. You're like a saving grace to me, and I don't know what I would do without your show. Fun little note to add, I am a part-time nail technician and have been working to get a full-time job in cybersecurity, and I promised myself that once I land the job of my dreams, I will sign up to be a patron, a pa patron, sorry. Hey, and send Sean, and of course, John and Josh, and I'm saying this because I'm snitching you out already. <laughs> Sean, they're sending that shit to us. Um, Nothing about it. I, I was, was going to. I announced that I would, but now with this hostility, <laughs> I got to think I should punish you and just send it to Josh. Yeah, we can split 50-50. Jesus yeah, Christ, y'all like <laughs> fucked up to me. Anyways, I will sign up to be a patron and send Sean some money on Venmo. And guess what? I did it. 
<gasps> I landed an amazing career and I am more hey. than able to contribute to you guys and your show. I wish oh, there was yeah. more I could do to show you guys how much you mean to me, but this will at least be a start. I also have tons of crazy stories myself and plan to submit them sometime. It would be so cool to have you read them and I could listen to it. Anyway, love you guys. You're a rock in my life. And thank you for being amazing humans who have the incredible ability to make me laugh and enjoy my little breaks. And this part got me, by the way. Last thing. Don't hate on Utah so much. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm born and raised here and still reside. It's not that bad at all. And there's so much more to this amazing place than the Cray Momos and their politics. Hearts. <laughs> and this is from Bailey. I want to be hey, completely... Bailey. Uh, transparent. I don't know much about Utah. I just, it's just a bit now. <laughs> we don't Bailey, hate I will Utah say, as, as much as I shit on Utah, it's very much the same as Texas. Great <laughs> people, horrible politics, easy to slam on. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, I, I don't want to slam on my own state. Enough people do that. So I got to go Utah. <laughs> also, also, I'm a Rockets fan and we had like a heavy, heavy. Uh, rivalry with the jazz. So yeah, same. Uh, so yeah. I live here and I shit on Texas all the time. So <laughs> sorry. Yeah, Bailey. but you're not a Texan as That's you true. admit I'm all the time. You, you hate this place, even though you live here. <laughs> that was a very beautiful review. It I love that. Bailey. And Thank congratulations you. Yes. on your new job. That's yes. awesome. And I have Thank to say you. I was wrong. I think this is Bailey. Yay. Uh, because, you know, she mentioned doing nails and this oh. Venmo is from Aries nail artistry. So you got to oh, imagine. It's the that same That makes thing. sense. Also, that's a business Venmo, guys. That's a shout out to her Venmo right yes. now. So Hell yeah. Aries <laughs> nail artistry. Well, she might not work there anymore, right? Well, I mean, it's, it's just it part time. Uh, Maybe it's oh, okay. Imagine, okay. Fair enough. I imagine it's her own business. Yeah. So, you know, her own Venmo. True. I don't think you can Venmo from you know, your personal funds from a, that'd be funny. You know just what I mean? funding <laughs> our podcast yeah. with their money. Hey, I'll take it. But uh, yeah, she wrote in addition to the amazing review, just left you a review. This is for all of you. Thanks for being my best friends through a podcast. Aww. Prayer hand emojis. Wow. So thank you so much, Bailey. Like I said, this was going to all three of us. John has made me rethink some things. Boy, if you uh, don't send my no. goddamn... <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, fucking dead. And uh, Bailey, if yes. you have any personal stories now that you're a patron, just yeah. DM us, let us know, and we're for sure prioritize you. So appreciate it. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Goddamn, but because... That's uh, all for me. Do you guys have anything else to, to read? I stole I didn't Josh's see, Thunder, so I apologize. I thought it I, was it was, it was was a good um, oh, segue. Good. segue. Um, I, did, I did see some uh, best Sean episode yet uh, in these <laughs> yep. past the two weeks. Still lives. Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, some OGs in the chat. I'd love to see that. <laughs> Duchess and Dino, if I'm not mistaken. It was, it uh, was. Um, yeah. yeah, I had a bunch of reviews I'll do, but I'll do just one since we're all doing one. And I'll make it a not five star one just for fun. Oh, is it bad? Hurtful. No, it's not bad. Oh, it's a it's a four star. Probably more realistic if we're being honest yeah, with ourselves. Yeah, we'll take it. That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a B. I take yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, behold, dot dot dot. Responsible men with microphones. And this comes from Angelicious fifty eight on Apple Podcasts. Uh, I first discovered this podcast around six months ago. And I thought, finally, dudes with podcasts who actually have a sense and make me laugh. This podcast is probably my top three podcasts that I love. I have Ooh, a chronic illness you. and I listen to the po- episodes when I'm going through a flare up and need some something to distract me. And this podcast never fails to cheer me up. So thank you, Angelicious, for that uh, four star review. Uh, okay. I want to know what your five star review podcast. What's your number one? That's what I want. To know. Yeah, and if, and if they're hosted yeah. by all white males, I'm gotta say, Sean, Sean's gonna say you might be a little racist. <laughs> you know, I, I won't say anything, but I will say maybe take a look in the mirror. You know what? And, you know, take a take a long hard look. Maybe she took the one star off because of me. She was like, maybe. white male. I can't uh, give them okay. a full five stars, and that's fair. You know, that's we're fair. just messing with you, Angelicious. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll take it. Yeah, Thank we will said, take yeah. it. Yeah. We'll take any review. Uh, all reviews are good, yeah. constructive. Even the one stars are funny. Yeah, uh, they are funny. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad we could bring you some joy uh, when times are tough. Yes. Uh, I hope times get better, though. I hate to hear that for you, but uh, glad that in the meantime, we're here to cheer you up when you need it. Absolutely. Also, yeah, our, 
top three is pretty wild for four stars. I beg of you to reconsider, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Maybe. And if you made a mistake, I recant my statement. You're the most awesome person in the world. <laughs> hey, regardless, you're probably you're still pretty awesome. Watch, but, uh, edit the change that edit shit. It, it's it three stars. <laughs> <laughs> and one for each of us, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. But uh, yeah, I guess with that being said, that being out of the way, I think that's the end of this episode. Glad to be back, boys. Glad yes. to be back, Maniacs. The boys uh, are back sorry, in town. Sorry if this is a little rusty. Uh, you know, I'm getting back in the swing of things. Uh, but it happy sounds to like be every here. other episode you've done, honestly. I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, cool. For better or worse, I guess. <laughs> At least you're consistent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm swinging zero in all these. But <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but. Glad to be back. Miss you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you on Friday. Or if you're rich, we'll see you on Wednesday. Oh. oh. Damn. Bye. 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 Just do it. Just do it. Expert in fucking power. Great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy, Sean. <laughs> <laughs>